uh, many Georgians themselves are firmly persuaded that uh, a huge number of Georgian words is, uh, was borrowed from a uh, great Greek language. Uh, the tragedy of the of Georgian linguistic linguistics and of uh, words linguistic in general is that uh, we don't understand the, how false such such a uh, such an attitude uh, is. Uh, in fact, uh, the truth uh, is uh, quite opposite. Huge number of the words, n not in Greek language, but in ancient Greek language, the words from the vocabulary of Homer, of Herodotus, of Aristotle, etc. Uh, all those uh, w words, in fact, uh, are of Kartvelian origin. And uh, now you will have a chance to see that and get persuaded in full details. Bindis periasopeli tandatan uprobindeba Nari chweni si tzotzale chiti vidga guprindeba Nari chweni si tzotzale Uh, no one knows when uh, Greek people uh, appeared for the first time in actually in Greece, the people that are known as Greek today. Uh, but uh, uh, the scientists, the historians, they uh, are sure that before the so-called Greeks or Hellens, uh, appeared for the first time, appeared in, on, on the territory of the modern Greece. Uh, a, a lot of pe people had already been living there, and th 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 those people obviously had no uh, ethnical or linguistic relation to the newcomer, newcomers. And now we will uh, see that it's a totally uh, a correct, uh, correct historical opinion. Uh, uh, exactly, the uh, aborigin aboriginous uh, uh, people of the country known today as Greek Greece uh, used to be the bearers of the speakers of the la of languages of the Kartvelian family, and the first the first and the most uh, stunning uh, uh, story about uh, the tribe uh, of Sarakatsani that lives in the uh, mountains of. Uh, Greece, in some, somewhere more or less in the uh, uh, Greek Macedonia. Uh, Sarakatsani, uh, of very unclear etymology, uh, in fact is, a, is an adjective uh, made from Saraka, Sarakat's uh, root. And we already know that uh, toponyms starting with Sa have very, very high chances to uh, be of uh, Kartvelian origin or exactly of Georgian origin, where uh, Sa uh, prefix is very toponymic and means uh, place of the root it, it's added to. So, uh, with Sa taking off uh, in this uh, name of Sar Sarakatsani or Sarakatsi with the uh, uh, adjective suffix taken off as well, uh, we are left with Arakats or Arakatsi as the exact root of this name. Arakatsi is a popular uh, Georgian word that means non-entity, nobody or anybody, but more literally it means not man for Ara being, being not, Katsi being, being fundamental Georgian word man. Not man, so Arakatsi, not man, Sarakatso, country of not man or where not uh, non men uh, live, and Sarakatsani would be a uh, person from that land, from the land of Sarakatso. Why could uh, uh, th those people be called no not men or <coughs> non men is seen clearly from this photograph of the men from Sarakatsani tribe. We see that 
<coughs> like uh, uh, Scots, they uh, wore and st still bear skirts. But unlike Scots, their skirts are very, very uh, feminine looking, very womanish. For that reason, they are known as Arakatsi. The word is totally uh, Georgian, the overall construction is totally Georgian, and we don't see any presence of Georgian in Greece who might uh, have called local people with that Georgian word. Uh, throughout the whole history, we don't know what Georgians are we talking about. Only those Georgians that used to live in Greece before the Greeks appeared there. And that was quite long before the Trojan War. Now to the toponym of Greece itself. Uh, the Greeks don't call their land uh, Greece, they call it uh, Elada. And uh, we see now that uh, for, 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 they do that for reason, because in fact Greece is only part of what is known as Greece, uh, because uh, we see the word Greece read, uh, spelled uh, in Latin way that will be Gretia, and Gretia gives us uh, the Katvelian, the Georgian toponym of Greti, land of land, Greti would be land of Gre. Gre, that's Kenyan ravine or chasm in uh, Georgian language, so Greti would be land of uh, Kenyan's uh, ravines or chasms. And we know that this is a pure uh, uh, western part, western part of uh, what we know as Greece, uh, which is very uh, abundant with canyons, ravines, and chasms. Uh, so, Grecia is a peer, not all the territory of uh, Greece. Georgians used to call Greeks Ioni, so for that reason we have Ionic Sea, and now we know why the sea is called with this uh, uh, Georgian word. Ioni, that's a Georgian uh, adjective made out of Ia uh, noun, uh, which means violet. So if Ia means violet, violet as a flower, Ioni would be violet in, in color. And uh, this is a, uh, a quote from a text uh, dedicated to description of uh, uh, seas around uh, Greece, where they say that Ionic, uh, the Ionic Sea, the color of Ionic Sea changes from uh, blue to violet, exactly to violet. So Ionic Sea is violet, or at least from time to time. Uh, Herodotus uh, mentioned uh, the country of uh, Macedonia for the first time as Makedni. Makedni is an impeccable uh, Kartvelian construction, uh, plural, old Georgian plural form of Makedi, while Makedi starts with the personificating uh, prefix ma, immigrant, we already know that. Thus, the uh, root will be Kedi, uh, and it means uh, mountain ridge. So Macedonia, Macedonia is a mountainous country. So uh, Makedni, that would be Makedi, that would be a person, uh, a Highlander, and Makedni, that would be plural for that, Highland, Highlanders. So Makedni, that's Highlanders. Macedonia, that would be a derivation from it. And the construction is perfectly Kartvelian. Uh, uh, Mycen Mycenes, uh, ancient uh, Greek city, uh, is known as Mykene in Russian uh, uh, language, but both uh, English and uh, Russian pronunciation are wrong because in, uh, in uh, Greek, it's, uh, Greek language itself uh, is uh, written as Mukenes or Mukeni. Uh, and that would be uh, the Georgian word Mukeni, meaning a pole. Wooden, long thin wooden pole. We can imagine that uh, in the ancient times uh, the, those poles were used to uh, uh, to construct fences around around cities, and the association with that with this thing is quite natural. Again, don't forget that, uh, according to Klimov, uh, the uh, Georgian at toponymic uh, suffix uh, equals to Migrelian and Laz at suffix. Uh, so, 
we uh, now we have uh, grounds for in interpretation of the uh, mountain Parnassus. Uh, that's a f sacred uh, Greek mountain. Uh, we, we understand that uh, Assos ending uh, has uh, have explained explained many times why and how. Uh, Asus ending uh, should be uh, interpreted as at ending. So Parnassus should equal to Parnat. Parnat or Parnati or Parneti in Georgian uh, way, that would be land of Parni. Parni, that would be uh, plural form of Pari, and Pari would be the same as Tsinapari. Tsinapari means ancestors. So Parnassus, Parnati, Parneti, the sacred uh, Greek uh, mountain translates as land of ancestors. The island of Samos or Sami in some uh, sources uh, equals to the Georgian word uh, Sami meaning three and we know why. It has three uh, lagunas where the, uh, where the people could land uh, from the ships. Uh, there is no Athens, actually. There is Athena, uh, what we know as Athens, in fact, uh, used to be, at least used to be Athena. We have uh, Athena in Las land, land of Las people. Uh, that's an alternative name for Pazar. And uh, for those who, who, who wonder if uh, this uh, name could be also of uh, Cartana languages, we find exactly this word Athena in uh, Migrelian uh, dictionary where, where it means this. How do you read Olympus? I bet you have no idea how to read it correctly. And that's one of the biggest problems uh, and the brightest uh, findings within uh, between Tiberius project. Yes, it is spelled like that in, Ju in Greek language. Uh, that would be its uh, Latin transliteration, spelled with Y or with Y. But we remember that Y used to be, uh, used to represent U sound. Also, we can strip it of the uh, nominative, uh, uh, Greek nominative case ending and end up having Olympi. But keeping in mind that uh, Y used to represent U sound, that would be Olympi. But what about M, P combination in Greek language? Yes, when it comes to borrowed words, everybody knows that. Uh, they don't have B sound and they uh, represent it with the MP uh, combination. So, for example, Bieber would be, uh, the, the name, uh, surname B uh, Bieber would, uh, would be spelled in uh, Greek language as um, Pimper. Uh, but they know that they should uh, read it as B. So Olumpi thus uh, translates into Olubi, while Olubi with the uh, trademark Migrelian abstract toponymic O uh, prefix would be place of Lubi. Who the Lubi are, you already heard, but you will know in details later. That's a f that mysterious, huge uh, pan uh nation that used to live all over the ancient world and, world and speak uh, uh, Kartvelian languages all over. But the most interesting here is that there, there is no Olympus and there has never been any Olympus. That what has in fact been is Olubi. Uh, Halicarnassus, uh, not or oh, Alicarnassus, uh, the uh, native city for Herodotus, uh, that should be Alicarneti, Alicarnati, Alicarneti, land of Alicarni. Uh, Carni, that's uh, plural for Cari, Caria, that's the name of this uh, minor Asia region. Uh, and Ali, that would be flame or red color, something like that. So there may be lots of interpretations. But we. Mm, uh, don't have anything uh, uh, definite here, but the overall structure is definitely Kartvelian. And now to the uh, words from the ancient Greek dictionary. Uh, they have the word amartia, meaning uh, or having uh, having relate, uh, relating to uh, to errors, to mistakes, to sins, to misdemeanors, etc. A martia. You may feel that the starting A may be a prefix of negative uh, uh, origin, and 
it makes sense because the mar mart uh, root is present in Kartvelian family in totally opposite meaning, true mean, uh, uh, opposite to mistake, misdemeanor, sin, and error. That would be martali. That would be true, correct, or truth, honest, decent, innocent, and etc. Uh, the point is that, well, first of all, the starting A uh, may be this, uh, well, we know that uh, in uh, Georgian language uh, the negative prefix is U, while in uh, the Greek language the negative prefix is A. It may be the same thing for uh, two reasons. First, uh, it's, just, uh, uh, it's just a vowel and it is uh, unstressed. Well, actually one reason. It's a vowel, it's unstressed, it's a schwa, and uh, you can, uh, in uh, a fast speech, it, it can sound uh, either as a or u, uh, for, uh, with you having no chance to uh, tell them. Uh, but what is more important is that Greeks themselves, they don't feel that the word amartya starts with the uh, uh, the Greek uh, negative uh, prefix a, because when they want to make an, uh, a word with the opposite, with the meaning opposite to amartia, they add another uh, negative suffix, uh, prefix an and uh, end up having an amartito, something like that. So, but in f the fact that they don't see uh, a prefix here, and hence they don't see the true root here, which is Kartvelian proves that the direction of the borrowing was from Kartvelian language into ancient Greek. So they borrowed Amartya not knowing where the uh, no, not knowing anything about the morphological structure of this word. And another uh, example to support uh, that uh, that would be uh, apates that means uh, 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 apathy, that would be the, the English word for it. Uh, apathy, that would be someone who uh, who has no respect, something like that. And pativi in Georgian language, that exactly respect and honor with the same root pat as in apates. Uh, but uh, again, uh, the Greeks don't see that this word starts with the uh, with the prefix, unlike. Uh, Georgians, when they add uh, uh, a negative prefix of their own, u, which is u, at the beginning of the word, they have something like upativoebo, that would be dishonor. Upativoebo, apates, that would be dishonor in both languages, uh, Georgian and uh, Greek. But Greeks don't know about the morphological structure of the word. That means that they borrowed it without knowing anything about the structure. The structure is Kartvelian. Ara means isn't it so, both uh, in, in Greek language, both uh, contain negation and ara is a no in uh, Georgian language. Archa in Georgian, that's friend, protector, patron. Archi means uh, has the same meaning in uh, the meaning of patron in uh, Greek language. Ego, that would be me. Arego, that would be to help in uh, ancient Greek, and we, uh, if we assume that it starts with the Georgian negative uh, prefix "ar" meaning "not," we will understand the the, uh, the meaning uh, how how this uh, this word appeared. So "ego" would would be. Uh, me connected with egoism. So, uh, but when it co comes, if you put uh, a negative uh, prefix to it, you will uh, the meaning will change into altruism from egoism to altruism. Our ego that will be to help. Help that is exactly what altruism is. And finally, the root egg also comes from Georgian language, where we see, we see it in the uh, as a root of the Mazdar Egeba, which means to be becoming, to be proper. And our Egeba would be. Uh, unbecoming improper. Ar egeba, they have ar egeba, they have ar ego, so the same uh, construction in both uh, languages. Ar galeos, uh, uh, difficult, hard, and unpleasant, etc. 
uh, if uh, well definitely uh, the meaning uh, should be negative and it starts with the negative Georgian uh, prefix R. Uh, if it's so we uh, need to find a Georgian gal uh, root meaning in, in the opposite meaning and if we find it Hali in the meaning of best quality expense Galiani rich lush etc benefit wealth and milk and honey so uh, quite uh, an opposite uh, quite opposite meanings to uh, difficult hard unpleasant etc again that's a, a proof that uh, many uh, words in ancient Greek dictionary start with uh, Georgian negative prefix R with Greeks themselves having no idea about that. R geo to do nothing. Well, geo we remember that's to be work to work something like that in uh, Greek language. Georgi for that reason uh, is uh, that, that's the way how they interpret the name Georgi. Uh, so argeo that would be to do nothing we see that to, uh, to do nothing uh, should should be negative and it's negative but only thanks to the Georgian uh, negative prefix are not Greek uh, negative prefix prefix uh, and uh, further we uh, find the uh, the source for this ge uh, Greek uh, action verb uh, it's also uh, Georgian it's present in the Mazdar geba which means building, making, or oh, just doing. So Argeo again, again, not uh, contains not only not only starts with the uh, Georgian negative prefix, but also con contains a Georgian root. Arneomai uh, would be to neglect uh, again, well, negation, and it should start with a negative prefix. And the prefix is negative, but it's negative from the Cartesian point of view, not from the Greek point of view. And further, we uh, find the uh, source for the root of this word as well. That would be uh, Georgian Mazdar Neba, with Ne being uh, root here, which is uh, a permission, right, or license, uh, quite an ap opposite meaning to, to neglection. Arsen would be the same as Aren. Aren would be uh, powerful, strong. So Arsen would be powerful, strong. If R is a Georgian uh, negative uh, prefix, Sen should be uh, also Georgian uh, root, uh, having an uh, opposite meaning to power, powerful or strong. Seni, that's illness or disease in uh, Georgian language. So. It does have it. It does uh, have the negative. Uh, the, this, it does have the meaning opposite to uh, powerful and strong, and in, it starts with the Georgian negative uh, prefix R in the Greek dictionary. Ethnos, that uh, community, group, uh, ethnos itself, tribe, etc. So with. Uh, uh, Greek uh, nominative case ending replaced with the Georgian nominative case ending, we, it, we end up having etni instead of ethnos. And etni, that would be a plural form, form old uh, Georgian plural form of uh, the uh, already well known word eti, that uh, in form of suffix uh, is used by uh, Georgia to form quite a number of di uh, di different countries. So etni, that would be countries, literally. Gamos in uh, Greek language means uh, uh, marriage. Uh, gamwa in uh, Migrelian language means the same, marriage, Kortsedeba. Uh, who borrowed from whom? The answer is obvious. Uh, in Migrelian language, gamwa is, uh, gamwa is not only marriage, but also reply, respond. Uh, so when the, uh, the the girl gives her respond to to offer to proposal, uh, marriage happens. But in Georgia, in Greek language, we have uh, no other meaning for gamos. That uh, which might explain uh, why the uh, why marriage was uh, called in Greek language with this word unlike in Georgian language. Gea means motherland in uh, Migrelian language. Gea means uh, land, 
and the uh, goddess of land as well. So, uh, Gea and Gea as well. The uh, correspondence is total between two languages. Hara means uh, uh, joy in uh, Greek language, and Hareba means joy in uh, Georgian language. Uh, what kind of joy is 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 it in Greek language? We have no idea. What kind of joy is is it in uh, what kind of joy it is in uh, Georgian language? We understand perfectly well. That's a celebration of uh, Annunciation, uh, feast of uh, spring, and uh, we know why it is called exactly Hareba because Hari is an uh, ox in uh, uh, Georgian language and. Uh, this uh, holiday uh, was celebrated by, uh, by, by the first bringing of, uh, of an ox uh, to field. Uh, for that reason, it's, called, it's known as uh, Hareba. While in, uh, in Greek language there is no uh, similar expl explication of this word, and, we, and Greeks don't know, that, have no idea that their uh, joy is a mere uh, Georgian word meaning ox. Kalos means beautiful in Greek language, Kali is woman in Georgian. Kepale uh, is a head in uh, Greek language, Kepa is a uh, back of human head in uh, uh, Georgian language. Lexi and uh, Lexos, I already told about that, uh, let's repeat once again. Uh, Le, that would be a swan prefix, uh, we see that in uh, Leek, uh, in infinitive, that means to, to speak in a swan language. Uh, with Le taking off in, uh, in Lexi, we ha end up having X as, uh, as a root of uh, Georgian word, meaning, uh, meaning exactly word. And uh, we find this uh, root x in the masdar, uh, masdars like xwa and xova, meaning spinning or weaving. So that uh, uh, makes us think that uh, the word legacy, that means word, is, uh, uh, it has a meaning of something which is used for weaving. Uh, so speech is weaving, weaving uh, that we do with the help of words. Litos, that would be stone. Liti, that would be stone in Georgian. Uh, lotus, that's the uh, name of uh, an Egyptian uh, flower, uh, it has a heady uh, scent, while uh, loti in uh, Georgian means drunkard. Mechane, that's a well-known uh, mechanics uh, that comes from here, well-known word. Uh, mechane, that's a Georgian, uh, as I already explained, uh, the Georgian uh, structure uh, of a person, describing a person that does a uh, hane action. Me, that would be the one who does it. Hane, that's the name of the action. Mechane, the, was, the one who does uh, hane. Hana, that's weaving frame loom. The one who is working on a f f weaving frame loom would be Mehane. Mechanics would, uh, sh would have come from here. Uh, Motax, that's the name of uh, Spartan uh, bastard. Uh, in, uh, it starts with the Kartvelian Mo prefix, with Tak, uh, sh uh, uh, thus Tak should be a uh, the root here, and we find uh, it, it's cognates in Georgian language, takili, uh, motaki, motakile and uh, satakilo, all of them relating to shameful, shamefulness, to disapproving, etc., having uh, such uh, negative connotation as the word bastard uh, does. Those attentive who uh, listened to the story about Noche and Noche um, uh, uh, might have uh, uh, say that in might have uh, remind that in Greek language uh, it's Nuchios, uh, not Nuchios, uh, and it's clear. But but uh, it's clear it's clear uh, cognate to Noche and Noche, and from Nuchios we also have German Nacht. So. Uh, we should be careful about that. We should explain why, uh, uh, in Greek language, the uh, fundamental ch consonant, which was, as I explained, taken from uh, from the uh, Migranian language, turned uh, turns out to be h. 
The secret is in the uh, amb ambiguity of uh, this uh, he uh, sound, uh, he letter of Greek uh, uh, alphabet. Uh, you should know that it, uh, it's, uh, it, it was used for quite a number of very different uh, sounds. Yes, we know that it's, first of all it's used for, to represent H and K, k or K, but the name Chile the, uh, the toponym Chile is spelled in uh, Greek language also through this, uh, with the help of this uh, letter. And this gives us the reason that not only explains that Nuchios in fact used to be or could have been Nuchios, and in this case again we have a perfect uh, uh, correspondence to the, the whole story, but also we can uh, now have a right to assume that what we know have been known as uh, Halkos, copper, in fact might have been Chalkos and uh, uh, we know that it's not, not only copper but also something with the copper uh, hook or copper hook and we find an immediate uh, confirmation of that because Chalki, not Halki but Chalki in uh, Georgian language that would be a line of fishing hooks fixed across the river. You never knew, uh, never, never took that into account, but uh, that is very important. Actually, the problem of Greek alphabet is very and highly important. The al Greek alphabet uh, is very scarce in terms of uh, consonants. Uh, it uh, it does not tell b and v sound, let, let alone it uh, ignores. Uh, huge number of consonants that existed outside of the so-called Indo-European family, uh, languages that were uh, quite widespread in the times where when uh, ancient Greek uh, emerged. For example, it, it doesn't take into account, it doesn't have shi sound, it doesn't have shi sound, uh, it ha doesn't have two chi sound repre uh, represented in a Georgian language by, uh, with two letters. Two c sound, uh, three k sounds, two g, two t, two p, etc. Huge number of different various variations, and no way, uh, and no letters in Greek alphabet to uh, render them correctly. For that reason, I am sure, and uh, this is quite a field for for research. Greek letters in, uh, formally used to render more than one sound and, and the sounds were quite different as we see in this case. Ochros means uh, yellowish in uh, yellowishness in uh, ye yellowish in uh, Greek language. Okro means uh, gold in uh, Georgian language. Uh, who took from whom we understand that because the word okro in Georgian language has a very uh, funny interpretation. We uh, should assume that it is a uh, Migrelian uh, abstract construction starting with, o, with the O prefix. That would be planned, uh, okro would be where kro is. Kro comes from krava, which, which is mazdar, Migrelian mazdar, and is the same as karva. Karwa, that would be amber, which is very, very close to what gold is. And karwa itself comes from kari, wind, because kari, that is not only wind, but also f flightiness and frivolity. And uh, amber, gold, that is something that connected very, very uh, firmly with the, uh, with the frivolity. For that reason, okro may be considered a, a derivation from uh, kari. Uh, that would be quite a revelation for Georgians themselves, and uh, eventually uh, we find it uh, uh, this word borrowed into the Greek language to represent the yellowish shade of color. Pyramid is not pyramid; it's pyramid because uh, epsilon that used to be a u sound. Uh, pyramid uh, consists of the uh, root puram, that, which is a Migrelian uh, adjective uh, uh, with the m, m suffix and puri as uh, as the root. Puri means bread in uh, Georgian language, but also it means the feast and holiday. Thus, puram purami that would be uh, an adjective uh, festive or uh, belonging to holiday. Uh, for that reason, we uh, have right to, to uh, 
interpret a pyramid as something uh, which was uh, created for festive purposes. And in fact, we know that quite a number of ancient Egypt, uh, ancient Egyptian uh, holidays uh, were uh, took to, to places uh, took place around the the pyramids themselves. So pyramids served as a background for uh, uh, Egyptian holidays. Sarcophag, uh, we know that it's explained as containing two Greek words, sarco and phag, meaning uh, devouring meat. Uh, sarco, meat, uh, phag, uh, to devour. Uh, but suddenly, uh, and very funnily, sarcophagi may be, uh, well, it splits into uh, Cartphilian morphemes uh, as well, and differently. So that would act, that would be a, um, the demonstrative pronoun or definite article uh, which we can take off uh, with no problem and we are left with, sar uh, with a sarcope, sarcope uh, root which is sarcope where arcope is because sa that's an abstract uh, prefix, prefix uh, used to make abstract nouns. Uh, arcope that would be non-existing because copna that would be ex uh, that is being, arcopna that is not being, uh, is uh, arcopili that's not existent. Arcopi, sarcope is where non-existence is, which is sar sar sarcoph which uh, which is exactly what sarcophag is, and ag that would be just a suffix. It's a possibility, I'd, but if this possibility makes sense, in this case we come to a huge uh, discovery that uh, sarco and fag, two well-known Greek words, in fact are fakes. They, uh, uh, they are, they, those words were invented out of the false interpretation of the Georgian construction. Uh, Talasa or talata, that's a C in uh, Greek language. If we assume that this is a toponym talat, that would be place of tal. Tal, that is salt. Tala, that would be place of salt, what uh, C actually is and has ever been. One more problem, the Greek uh, letter eta, which is, which used to be, uh, which, which is, uh, people are not sure what, it, what it, it exactly is or used to be. It used to be both consonant and uh, vowel. Uh, we uh, know it, we interpret this as a vowel today, e, eh, but we know that uh, uh, formally it used to be uh, just a slight aspiration, h. so it used to represent h sound. For that reason, for example, the word eb, eh, Ebe, meaning youth, uh, we, we have a right to now to read it differently, to imagine that the starting eta used to be uh, the h sound, and uh, hence it would be uh, pronounced as hbe or hba, uh, meaning youth. Hbo in uh, Georgian language means cough, cause cough, which is a total, uh, total associ association with uh, youth. Uh, now Turkey, uh, the ancient uh, minor Asia, uh, Anatolia. A uh, huge number of uh, Kartvelians all over, uh, uh, hugely uh, Kartvelian uh, land from the historical point of view. Even today, a big ethnos uh, called Laz, uh, which is uh, uh, we belongs to the uh, Kartvelian uh, language family, uh, lives on the, t on the territory of, uh, of Turkey. Uh, the uh, toponym, such toponym as Ararat, is a clear Laz or Kartvelian uh, toponym uh, ending with the at suffix, toponymic at suffix, uh, uh, which, as I have already mentioned many times, uh, equals to uh, Georgian et. So Ararat in fact is the same as Arareti, land of Arara. Arara means nothing in, uh, in the dictionary of uh, Georgian language and uh, on this picture you, you can see uh, why, it is, was, why it was called, called like that. On, on such an uh, altitude uh, there is nothing. Uh, no people, no animals, no plants. Land of nothing and uh, well this uh, mountain is sacred for Armenians but Armenians themselves don't call it with the name Ararat, they call it Masis. For that reason Ararat is not Armenian name, it's not Turkish name, that's a uh, cartoon name. 
Sagalassos. We already know that Sagalassos should be interpreted as Sagaleti, Sagalati, Sagaleti, uh, land of Gaul. Uh, for the same, that's a tautological uh, toponymic uh, structure, uh, uh, identical to Saprangeti, meaning uh, France, or Sabernzeti, mean, meaning uh, Gre uh, Greece. Uh, land of Berzeni, or land of pra uh, Prangi, Saprangeti, Sagal Sagaleti, that would be land of Gali. Gali, the, their Gauls, uh, the ancient uh, Celts, uh, who uh, moved uh, to Minor Asia in the uh, third millennium, uh, third uh, century uh, before Christ. Galat, Galati, that's another known toponym, ancient toponym, uh, and it, they uh, tend uh, to think that that's the name of a uh, tribe, uh, of, of, uh, of people. No, that's the name of a country. Galati also, that would be the name of a uh, country. Galati, Galati, land, land of Gali. Uh, the name of, of, of people would be Gali here. Galatasaray, uh, famous uh, football club in uh, Turkey, bears uh, this same uh, Kartvelian uh, construction, Galati. Ariasus, that would be Ariati or Arieti, ancient Ariasus uh, in Turkey, and uh, uh, that's land of Ari. If you are looking for uh, those Arians, that's the perfect place for you to start. Uh, remember uh, Dalmatia, which is Dalmatia, which is Dalmatia, which is Dalmatia, which is land of Del, 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 Delmi or Delami, uh, Delama, uh, while Delama is a Kurds in uh, Georgian language, so the, uh, Dalmatia eventually will be uh, land of Kurds. And in uh, Turkey we have uh, Telmesos, ancient uh, so-called uh, Greek uh, city, uh, which is not Greek, Telmesos, that would be Telmeti, that would be land of uh, Telmi. Telmi is uh, Telmuzi, and uh, which uh, is the same root as in Telmuzi, while Telmuzi is the same as Delamoti. Delamoti is the same as Delami. Again, that would be Kurds. Uh, the, the Telmesos and Dalmatia, that's this exactly uh, the same, uh, impeccably the same uh, toponym. The, with the same uh, Kartvelian construction, land, land of Kurds. Ankara, that uh, has two meanings in uh, Georgian language, that would be a grass snake, but more, uh, uh, I like more the second one, that would be a source, a spring of uh, uh, clear water. And Ankara has quite a number of springs around it. Uh, so what about Stambul? Yes, it may be uh, interpreted as a Kartvelian uh, adjective Stambuli, uh, coming from Stameba. The Mazdar Stameba does not exist in the dictionaries, but we do have Stamni, that would be uh, a jug, a clay jug, uh, and while Stamni itself may be an old uh, Georgian uh, plural form of Stami, while Stami is a Kartvelian adjective uh, um, and an adjective uh, made out of the st uh, root. St has been already mentioned many times, that is stwa, that is spinning, uh, while spinning is the action that you uh, do uh, a lot in pottery, and pottery is something uh, where jugs come from. So if all that makes sense, uh, may make sense, uh, uh, stameba would be pottery and stambuli would be related to pottery. Uh, Izmir uh, used to be known as Smirna, or more exactly Smurni, because uh, it's spelled through uh, Epsilon, that used to be U sound. Uh, Smurni is a plural of Smuri, uh, Georgian plural of Smuri, while Smuri is a toast. So the name of the city uh, becomes uh, just uh, toast or place of toasts. Why toast? Because more or less this region of uh, Turkey in ancient times it used to be the cradle for uh, for many wines, among them famous Greek wine uh, Pramnios, for example. Euphrates uh, is known as Al-Furat in Arabic language, and Furat, that would be a Furat, uh, more exactly, that would be a Toponym made out of Puri uh, noun. Purati, that would be the land of Puri. Puri is a cow. So uh, Euphrates in uh, Turkey is known as a, quite a pasture land, so uh, that's very natural to, to, to associate it with cows. 
Phrygia, in fact, is not Phrygia, but uh, Prugia uh, for uh, phi being aspirating and uh, uh, the vowel being the Greek epsilon, which is uh, U sound. So it, instead of prig, uh, frig, we should uh, deal with prug uh, um, uh, root here, and uh, we should associate it with frig, with the word frigid, which, uh, which has uh, this same uh, etymology, and both uh, relate to uh, coldness because uh, Phrygia is the uh, uh, the coldest uh, region of Turkey, uh, being uh, located quite uh, far from the in, in, in the mountains and quite quite far from the seashore. Uh, while frigid is also called or cool or indifferent or flat and or dull in uh, sexual uh, meaning. Uh, and in uh, Russian language we have the word uprugi, which which is. Uh, Opposite, which has opposite meaning to indifferent, flat, or dull, especially if in a sexual meaning. And we see, we know that it starts with the u uh, negative Cartwellian prefix, uh, leaving us prug exactly prug as uh, uh, in the meaning of uh, as a root in the meaning of uh, cold, cool, indifferent, dull, etc. Sivas uh, in Turkey used to be known as Sabaste, while Sabaste is the land of Basti. We already to, uh, talked about Basti, that's a mysterious ancient nation that used to live all over the ancient world and speak Katvelian uh, languages. Uh, once again, uh, look uh, how. Uh, how many uh, world toponyms we know in pairs, uh, with a starting A and without it. S1, Swenet, Mardi, Amardi, Puglia, Apulia, uh, Surya, not Syria, that is Surya, Surya, Asuria, Anatolia, Anatolia, and many, many, many more. As I already explained, the starting A here is, uh, uh, A or Ha is a Phoenician or Hebrew or Kartvelian uh, demonstrative pronoun, which is definite article. Uh, so with ha and a taken uh, off, we uh, end up having quite a number of very interesting roots. For example, halibs, in fact, are not halibs, but the libs, and they are not libs, they are loops for uh, the fact that the uh, name was spelled through epsilon. Uh, ha lubi the lubi that would be this mysterious nation uh, we will talk a lot uh, about later cartoon speaking nation all over the world Cuba, as I already explained, means clod of earth. Uh, Cibeles uh, is a very, very uh, crooked uh, uh, name of this goddess that should be uh, should have been read from from Greek language as Kubeli, and uh, that would be a impeccably uh, Kartvelian adjective made out of the Cuba uh, noun. Uh, uh, Kubeli means earthy. Uh, why earthy? Because she is known as a harvest mother. No Sibelis, Kubeli. Very, very simple. Kubeli from now on. Thank you. And finally, a very, very interesting story about the etymology of the word Turkey. Yes, we know about Turks, nomads, uh, mongoloids coming from the Far East, etc., etc. The whole concept, uh, very, very popular. But uh, we find in the first we find in the dictionary of uh, Ariane Centuria a Mazdar Turqua, which is berating scolding. Uh, while it com definitely comes from the word Turki, which means only Turk or Tatar, something like that. A, why uh, did they? Why they, why they uh, produced this Mazdar out of this noun is not clear. Uh, until we discover that in Migrelian language there is a word Turi, not Turki, but Turi meaning relative or kin. At the same time, we make a totally stunning discovery in the same uh, Migrelian dictionary that 
que as a, as a suffix, as a separate suffix, in fact turns out to be the ergative case ended in Megrelian language. Ergative case is uh, the thing that you will find only in the Kartvelian family. And the most funny thing is that uh, Georgians and Migre well, Migrelians do know about uh, uh, Georgian ergative endings because, because all Migrelians speak Georgian. They know that in Georgian language, the ergative ending would be ma. But Georgians don't know, they don't speak Migrelian language, which is quite different from Georgian, despite belonging to the same family. And they don't know that in Migrelian language, the ergative case ending is k, not ma. Migrelian, many Migrelians themselves don't know about that because not all the Migrelians speak Migrelian language today, that's a tragedy. Thus, well, first of all, we understand why a huge number of uh, Georgian words uh, has this uh, unidentifiable k suffix. Uh, I don't have examples here, but those who work with uh, Georgian dictionaries, they know what I'm talking about. For example, tsutki, something like that. Uh, where does this k come from? The root is tsuts, that, that is for sure. What about k? Yes, now, now we know what, what about it. It's, uh, ergative case ending in Migrelian language. And what about ergative case ending? Nouns in ergative case serve as subjects in sentences. That's why those who don't understand, those who don't know about ergativity, or those who don't know about the ergative case endings, they think that it, it's a just, just a noun, it's a subject, that is just a noun in the nominative case, exactly in the form uh, in which it uh, should, uh, uh, should be placed into a dictionary. And that's why we turned out, that's why the word Turki, in fact, means not only Turk, but Turi with the suffix K, meaning relative and used in the Megrelian ergative case. That's, that exp explains a lot. Thus, uh, the concept of Turk, uh, from meaning uh, nothing concrete, uh, starts meaning, turns into meaning uh, relative kin. And that's a Georgian word, Megrelian word, Katvelian word, and people who used to live in Turkey and still live in Turkey, as we have already seen, and we will see that more, <coughs> spoke Katvelian languages all over. We didn't speak about Cappadocia, which, <coughs> which is to a totally, totally uh, Katvelian uh, region, one of the most Katvelian regions uh, in, uh, in, in Minor Asia. Uh, so the whole Minor Asia used to be and still is very Katvelian. Uh, Laz live there, for, for example. And for, that's the reason why they are known as relatives to Georgians. Turks are relatives to Georgians. That is true. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's translated like that. that, that that's an explanation. And an absolutely incredible twist uh, is, uh, to that story is found in uh, Ireland, where in English language the word Turk means a person of Irish descent. Why? Because it means not Turk, it means a relative and kin. And we remember that Ireland has very, very strong relations to the Iberian world. world. Uh, Ptolemy call, calls themselves, uh, calls, called them uh, I, I, Iberni, which is a plural form of uh, plural form of the uh, of Iberi, which is uh, this fundamental uh, term that uh, describes people who spoke Catalan language, all, languages all over the world. Over the world. The Scottish club Hibernian, in fact, uh, contains this same, uh, this same root. So uh, Irish Turk, that, that's relative kin. To whom uh, Irish people are relatives or were relatives, that's a mystery. We can imagine to, to ancient uh, uh, British people, to Basque people, to just any European people spoke, uh, speaking uh, Kartvelian languages. We can and should take, uh, uh, take the starting A uh, prefix uh, as a definite article, not only in Anatolia or Halibi or 
Puglia, Puglia, etc. We can do that also in the name of Albania. In this case, we are left with the root LB, which is a combination of two consonants that with a clearly omitted uh, vowel that uh, used to be uh, should have been there and in fact we understand that it was there because in uh, the primary chronicle the name of Albania is spelled uh, through a firm sign which is a clear uh, trace of, a, of an X vowel so uh, also you can find a uh, uh, surname Alibania, uh, which proves that as well. And finally, uh, Albanians themselves uh, call some, uh, some, in some regions of Albania, call themselves Lab, which gives us uh, more reasons to, to think that the word Alba Albania starts with the uh, definite article A. So, uh, Albanian, uh, the, uh, if so, then Albanian people turn out to be Lub people, turn out to be Laz people, to turn out to be ancient Kartvelian speaking people. Uh, one of the key uh, lands in, the, uh, in Europe and one of the key uh, civilizations in the, the history of, the, of, of, of our mankind. Uh, so, uh, also you should uh, check the uh, Argiro Castro, that would be uh, the ancient name for the Giro Castro, which is the capital of the Slaberia region in Albania. Uh, Argiro, Arguri, that would be a uh, Megrelian uh, adjective uh, uh, itself. By, but the most interesting is that in uh, Liberia uh, you, you can find uh, such a gen musical genre as plekerish, uh, which means a folk uh, polyphonic uh, uh, singing, extremely typical, uh, ex extremely similar uh, to uh, famous uh, polyphonic uh, singing in Georgia. You can compare, com compare them yourself. Many uh, trademark Albanian uh, surnames uh, have Laz endings. Laz and Swan endings. Belushi, Turkeshi, Barbulushi, Bilibashi, Cikaleshi, Cikaleshi, Gurashi, Kavashi, etc. Or Strakosha, the famous Albanian surname, that would be a Swan uh, variant of the same uh, construction. She and Sha, both of them are Kartvelian more exactly swan and laz, genitive case endings. And we see that uh, Albani Albanian surnames look extremely laz, extremely Kartvelian. Now, this is, uh, several words from, from the Albanian dictionary. Cdo, that would be uh, any in Albanian language, and Cdo, that would be a segment, for example, of orange in Georgian language. Dashuri, that would be love in uh, Albanian language, and it uh, looks like a perfect uh, Georgian adjective dashuri made out of the, some dash or dashi uh, n noun root. We don't find the uh, word dashi, but we find dasheba, which is a derivation of dashi, no doubts about that. Dasheba in Migrant language means the same as dashaweba in Georgian. Dashaweba in Georgian means committing crime. So love, that would be committing crime or damaging, spoiling. Very, very, very philosophic interpretation of what love is and I already told you in the Kartvelian family uh, suggest very uh, negative approach to family and anything around it. Uh, you know or you should know that uh, Albanian ethnos uh, consists of two uh, sub, uh, sub ethnical groups uh, Hex, exactly like that with fricative uh, he, Hex and uh, Tosks. Uh, her, uh, in uh, Georgian language, uh, the, uh, the uh, root uh, her is found in the Mazdar Herwa and is, uh, with, with the whole Mazdar is uh, translated as bearing chest. Now, a uh, description of uh, hers, Albanian hers, uh, men's costume. As a rule, the, uh, well, they wear uh, jackets, woolen jackets, but uh, as a rule, the person is shirtless. Gags didn't wear sh shirts. They, w w their chests 
uh, they had uh, bare chests. They were bare chested. That's why they are, they are known as gers and her. That would be a Georgian word as well. Grua, that's woman wife. Guru uh, in Georgian, that's cavity hollow. Uh, harji, that's grape wine. Harji in Georgian, that's food supplies. Kalama, that's child. Kalami, that would be a Migrelian adjective uh, made uh, from uh, Kali noun. Kali, that's woman. Nule, that's gum. Nul, uh, uh, we already talk, uh, uh, spoke about that. Uh, in Russian language, nulle that's zero. In uh, uh, other languages, nul that would be uh, zero as well. Uh, and that's because that's, uh, that is gum uh, in, in your mouth. Uh, but this example uh, shows us why, in, for example, in Russian language, we have two uh, ver uh, variants, noli and nuli, because uh, one of them comes from Migrelian language, one of them comes from uh, Albania. Pasuri, that's richness. Pasuri, that would be, again, an adjective, uh, Kartvelian, impeccable Kartvelian adjective made from pasi uh, noun. Pasi, that's uh, treasure. Pasuri, that would be... Uh, Definitely something very close to uh, richness and wealth. Top, that is ball. Topi, that would be... Uh, well, top, that is ball, and cannon. Cannon, that, that, is, that would be already a weapon. Uh, topi, that's a weapon, first of all, but also top, topi in Georgian language, that would be roll or axle bearing, something of round form, which is close to what ball is. That's the uh, basic one. Uh, ushke, that would be to feed in uh, Albanian language. Ushku, that is mouth in swan language. And uske in uh, Latin language, that is uh, till you are fed up. <coughs> all, the, all, all that is one same uh, etymological chain. Vesh is vine in... Uh, Albanian, Veshel, that would be fruitful in Albanian, and Vashli, uh, very mysterious word, Georgian word meaning apple. Now we know wh where this uh, root comes from. <laughs> Ooh,